Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's me coming at you with 2021 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box picker team two. Brand new release just dropped today. Thanks everybody for getting into the action. If you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that team in that filler pack we did a little bit earlier. Jeffrey, you ended up with the last spot mojo with the Angels and there's everybody else. Thanks everyone for getting in, making this happen. And remember, we had two cases over here, and I randomized it, and we did one case. There's the other case right there. Uh, Brian Peoples is here, too. Yeah. We didn't see a lot of Padres in that first Jumbo case. That's Jay for Jumbo, not, not like the Joker. Yeah, we got to do better than the first case here. All right, so this break is going to take a little over an hour, so settle settle in. If you're watching the replay of this break, um, you can fast forward to the end. There'll be a recap at the end. But for those of you watching live tonight, hang in there. Or you can visit Jason at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram Live if you want to hang out with him. Or if you don't feel like watching this break, I guess you could watch... Um, Mojo Sports, who visited our shop and did a nice little, like, 35, half an hour video about the store, did a little store tour, interviewed some people here at the shop, including Nick and myself. So you can watch that and you can come back and we'll, then we'll have about half an hour left of the break. Link is in the chat. Yeah, Carmelo's still playing, Brandon. You got Lakers Wizards on in the background. And the Wizards are up 80, 80 that was a three pointer, 90 74 on my Lakers with about a minute left in the third quarter. It's, they're still kind of in it. They're going to have to do a lot of work in the fourth quarter. All right, that's a start. Ben Macklemore with the three. Nick LaPlante, what's going on, man? How are you? Yeah, if they could hit a three here before the end of the third quarter, make it eight, 90 to 80, that would be nice. First box. All right, good luck, everybody. Here on Wednesday, the 28th, a nice new release day. 2021 Bowman is brand new. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Royals, they're up 9 5 in the bottom of the sixth. They've been playing some good baseball. The Red Sox hanging on to a 1-0 lead. DeGrom was on the mound. Who was pitching on the other side? And DeGrom just never seems to get... <laughs> never seems to get the, uh, the run support that he should get. I feel like he'd be like a 25 game winner if he just got a couple more runs a game. Out dueling him was Nick Pavetta, who went five innings, one hit, three walks, seven strikeouts. And then the bullpen kept the Mets in check. DeGrom 
six innings, three hits, one earned run, one walk, nine strikeouts. And yet, yet they're down. Although it's the bottom of the ninth, I suppose they could I suppose they could still walk it off. But I think I have some financial interest in uh, in the in the Red Sox, so I'd rather them uh, them not walk it off. <laughs> There's uh, Eriberto Hernandez for the Rangers. That'll be for Jonathan, who won that who won the Rangers in that uh, that pack break we did a little bit earlier today. Nice, congrats. I think our first auto was that guy in the previous jumbo case. I right, remember this year all card ship including paper, which is pretty cool. So take advantage of that while that offer still stands on our group breaks, ladies and gentlemen. There's Bryce Harper. Sky blue to 499. It's 005 out of 499 for Drew and the Phillies. There's Matt Manning refractor for the Tigers. Dragon the balls. Darren McKenzie with the Tigers. Rookie of the Year favorite, Sixto Sanchez, Josiah Gray. That's pretty cool. Rookie of the Year favorites autograph, Dylan Carlson. 48 out of 50. Cardinals. Jeff Dorlach. Got the Cardinals straight up. That's pretty cool. Remember, we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. There's a Sparkle, Speckle, Eddie Diaz. To 299. What do they call this? Speckle? Sparkle? Speckle. So the uh, Speckle, Eddie Diaz, going to the Rockies, Robert. I think the Red Sox officially beat officially beat the Mets one nothing. Mets getting two hit and just wasting another Degrom start. Mariel Bautista, Cincinnati Red Legs. That'll be for E A with an auto. If you click the break schedule, folks. It's not complete, but I've been working on a 2021 Bowman baseball guide. So give that a look. That'll give you kind of an overview on on some of these players. Just some basic o information, but maybe saves you the trouble of, 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 of looking up some players. All right, that was box one. Second box. Yeah, I 
was on the Red Sox. And now I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the Nationals. They're up 8-2 on the Blue Jays, so I'm feeling good about that pick as well. 8-2, bottom of the eighth. As long as Vlad Jr. doesn't, doesn't go off. Did you guys see him yesterday, Vlad Jr.? Ooh. This could be a great year for Vlad Guerrero Jr. Uh, owners. People who have his rookie cards in their collection. I'm sure they're doing well this year. Scores do we have? Yeah, so Royals are still leading the Pirates 9-5 in the top of the seventh. Nationals up 8-2, bottom of the eighth. Looks like Rays are going to beat the A's maybe. It's 2-0 in the top of the ninth. And Braves stretching the lead 10-0 over the Cubs now. 16 hits for the Braves tonight. after that performance against the Diamondbacks not too long ago. Now they're pounding out 16 hits, angry. Phillies and Cardinals are tied at three, top of the sixth. Angels leading the Rangers 4-3 in the top of the fifth. Mariners leading the Astros 4-2, top of the fifth. And Padres at Diamondbacks just started. Lakers? It's not looking good for the Lakers. Sorry, Brandon Richards. Jesus. And we got an Eddie Yeen, 14 out of 50, gold autograph for the Nats. There you go, Joshua Lucas on the board with the Nationals. Some good color here, too. We got Jesus Sanchez, sky blue paper to 499 for the fish. That goes to Chen. And then we got a speckle Christian Robinson to 299. No worries, Joshua. Thanks for getting to the action. There's still many boxes to go, so maybe more hits to go. Christian Robinson once again for Adam and the Snakes. Mountcastle, Kiebert. And we got Jared Kelly, 
White Sox autograph for Charles Wolfkill. Charles won that spot. It's a good spot to win in one of those filler packs. Nice. There's Jordan Belazovic. Fuchsia to 199 for the Twins. Shane. Shane also won the Twins in that filler pack. So Sanchez and Luis Santana, 19 out of 4.99 on that refractor autograph for Patrick Colon and the Strohs. That kid right there is supposed to be. I mean, the Blue Jays, how expensive have the Blue Jays been over the last few years? Getting good draft spots and getting, doing, picking players really well. <laughs> Fifth overall pick, so they're getting good draft positions and they're picking very well. So that all, all adds up to hashtag good for the hobby, but also pretty pricey to get the teams like the Blue Jays. boxes in. This is our third box of eight. So hang tight folks. Got another 40-50 minutes to go. No need to despair yet if you don't have a hit. Got a long ways to go. Play to the whistle. What are some fun, anyone have any fun uh, ballpark, baseball, stadium promos going on for the Dodgers this year? I think they're doing, if the Dodgers pitching staff has 10 strikeouts, let's see what they have this year. You get a free, uh, with the purchase of like a medium drink or something like that, you get a free Jumbo Jack burger from Jack in the Box. I feel like they're going to be giving away a lot of those this year. Their, their staff had 13 strikeouts today. So then the next day, the day after, you can go and get a Jumbo Jack, or get a buy a medium drink and you get a free Jumbo Jack. Maybe some medium, medium curly fries, throw that in there too, it's pretty good. All right, anyone else have any fun, any of their home stadiums? Home ballparks with a uh, fun promo. Guess we'll save these uh, at Austin Martins. I want I want parallels though. 
So those are all for the Blue Jays, Matthew Shira, here in Jumbo 2. There's Andrew Vaughn to 150 right there. Atomic Parallel. White Sox, that'll be for Charles. What's Cabrian Hayes coming back? We need to come back. Ed Howard, speckle autograph. Nice, to 299. Charles got the Cubs straight up. Nice Ed Howard. Well, it looks like he's a good kid and has and could be the future of that shortstop, that middle infield area for the Cubbies. <laughs> yeah, I would love to get a redemption. Apparently Austin Martin's a redemption, right? Get that redemption, slow play the super fractor. Woo! Would love that. Matthew Shearer would love that. Brian Hayes again. Blue paper to 150. Andrew Von Fuchsia. Cabrian Hayes, blue paper for, for Frank and the Pirates. Who've been playing pretty good baseball even without this guy. So imagine you get him back. Andrew Von Fuchsia to 199 for Charles. And the Southsiders. And we got a Yoelki Cespedes. Nice. There you go. Half brother of outfield Yoenis Cespedes. Supposed to be pretty good. Chicago White Sox, Charles. He won the White Sox in that filler break we had. Where we gave away a handful of teams. There's Christian Robinson, Blue Shimmer to 150. Adam and the Diamondbacks. You know, I feel like I saw an interview where Yolki Cespedes um, was saying he wanted to play this year. So I think he's he's pretty motivated to play this year. And I wonder, with uh, Eloy Jimenez going down early in the in the spring, I wonder if the White Sox will eventually give him the chance. And then a nice Sixto Sanchez rookie autograph, 98 out of 100. Atomic Refractor. For Chen and the Marlins. Nice. It's 
sharp looking card here. There's Bo Naylor, paper to 499 for Cleveland. It's gonna go to Keishon Chang. Cleveland, this is for you. Nice river saying he pulled a uh, uh, Yoelki Cespedes at your at your LCS. Good support your LCS. And then you can then you support your virtual LCS Jaspies. Saren so Sabato. Yeah, and then River saying that's got to be yeah that Cespedes got to be one of the top three to five autographs to get in this set. All right, fourth box, almost halfway there. All right, next bit, good luck. Dennis Moore, what do you got for me? Just seen the funniest thing. Anthony Rizzo of the Cubs was pitching and just struck out Freddie Freeman. Both players laughed about it. That's a fun highlight. Two, uh, two franchise first basemen facing each other, but on the mound? That's funny. Both, both guys, I think, are going to be free agents at the end of the year, right? I think Freddie Freeman and Anthony Rizzo will be uh, free agents at the end of the year. Where do they end up? Where do they end up? I gotta think that uh, I gotta think that Freddie Freeman resigns, right? Yeah, Dennis thinks so too. Freeman will stay in the ATL. They've got a young, exciting team. They got a chance to win a chip in the next. They'll sign like a little three-year deal or something like that. That's what I think. Maybe a fourth if he has a if he has a good agent. Rizzo though, I feel like I feel like Rizzo might want to. He might end up elsewhere. Maybe he'll go ring chasing somewhere. There's Jose Rodriguez, another White Sox autograph for Charles. Yeah, I guess if they're Shea Langliers to 125. Yeah, if the NL ends up getting uh, getting the DH next year. That could that could extend a lot of guys' careers. There's another 15 teams that has a DH spot. It'd be good for guys like guys like Rizzo. There's a there's a little storyline, little storyline uh, in LA for the Dodgers that they want to get. One thing that's not in Clayton Kershaw's trophy case is a silver slugger. 
There's Jose Tena. Neon green to 399 for Cleveland. Okay, Sean with that one. Remember, if that goes away, this is the last year that, that, that pitchers are going to have to win a silver slugger. If that's something they, that they wanted to do. There's Garrett Mitchell to 499, former UCLA guy. For the Brew Crew, Robert. He's from Southern California, too. Oh, and a speckle auto, Zach Veen. Nice one for the Rocks. Robert with the Rockies. Nice. Oh, you're saying if the DH happens next year, bring bring Rizzo to the Braves. That would be wild. Yeah, I, I would... Well, wouldn't you have like Albies hitting second? You would have like, you would have like Acuna, Albies, Freeman, Ozuna, Rizzo, as like your top five hitters. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Once things really click for that team, that's gonna be really scary. I think that Braves are gonna be a really scary team. And there's Nick Mayton. Drew with the Phillies. This is supposed to be a big name for the Phillies. No, Brian says Rizzo not a DH. That guy just picks it at first. I mean, they can alternate. Rizzo, <laughs> if Rizzo and and Freeman ended up on the same team, a little less time in the field to preserve their careers. All right, halfway through the break. We still got a lot of time for to look for an Arias autograph. Remember, don't forget, we got still have four more boxes to go. We got another 35 minutes to go in this break. And another, what, 12 autos? Next one. I think the did the Nationals hang on to win? They did. They won eight two. That's another W for me in Joe's picks. Who's the next team I'm looking at? Oh, I don't think Chicago is gonna win. They're down unless they scored ten runs in the top of the ninth, which I don't think is gonna happen, so I'm gonna make that red. Texas 
I'm on Texas. The Angels are only up a run, so so maybe uh, maybe I can get a W there if the Rangers can can take advantage. One run's not a lot. So we'll still a lot of game to go. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. I would love some uh, train whistle hits too, Ripper. Out of fives and under. I don't think in... When we did Bowman Draft, I don't think we got any supers. I feel like we did get a couple reds. Yeah, out of fives. I don't think we got any super... Ow. Any super fractures there. My knife bit me. No blood. I don't want to get blood all over your Bowman cards. That's not the kind of red we're looking for. Uh, yes, we do allow trades before a random team break. Not on fillers, but on, on like a regular break, yes. There's Stevie Emanuel's refractor autograph for the A's. It's going to be for Jeff. We got the A's straight up. Jeffrey Goldberg. Come on, Lakers. Switch back to MLB Network now, now that that's over. What do we got here on MLB Network? We got Padres at Diamondbacks. Do I have, do I have financial interest? I think I have financial interest in the Diamondbacks in this game. Grayson Rodriguez, Aqua Shimmer. Hey, why is Ramirez on the mound? Was it wasn't this a Ryan Weathers start? Oh, he was. I guess Ryan Weathers was just the opener today. Just did one inning. This one goes to John and the O's. I was expecting it. I was on the Mets, or I was on the Red Sox. I do. Is it sold out? I know it was only a few spots away. There wasn't anything sold out after this, so maybe that'll be the next break after this. Is Daryl Collins for the Royals, Ryan Lind with KC. Oh, 
Luis Garcia and Mariel Bautista speckle autograph for the Red Legs. EA with the Reds. There you go. A couple Reds autos there. Oh, you have the Red Sox in this one too? All right, there's a Adinso Reyes, purple paper to 250. That's for Detroit. That's going to be for DMAC. Oh, 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 you were on the Red Sox today. Yeah, I, I had crunched some numbers, and I was just like, there's a little value in the Red, Red Sox have been playing well. Mets don't like to hit for DeGrom. I had him at, you got him at plus 225. Nice, I had him at plus 220. You know, five cents better than me. It's a good play. I had, If you look in uh, the Joe's Picks area on the break schedule, you'll see what I had last couple days. Um, has there been Austin Martin, Sabato, Acosta, Blaze, Espedis, Atomics? I haven't seen any yet. Oh yeah, I would definitely pull those top names if I did. But everything ships, ladies and gentlemen. So everything you see here will ship out. I've been doing okay in baseball. I, I'm, I'm. I'm hitting less than 50%, but um, I'm up plus 34, almost 35 units, which I'm happy about. This is the best season I've had in, in a long time, so it's making up for previous years as well. But you're killing it in the hockey, huh? What's what's the... Do you have a, a strategy, a basic overall strategy for hockey? Bet against the Sabres. No, you just watch a ton of hockey, so you, you just kind of have an instinct. Let's go. 
stepping up at the last moment for Taylor Weiger. So far, Riley has got six outs on 15 pitches, five ground ball outs, 12 of his 15 And we got Johan Rojas to 4.99, one 261 out of 4.99. Phillies, Drew, Drew with a nice. Nice run here so far. I think a few autographs already. It's never been a low chopper. I guess you're right. And Casey Martin to 299. Nice speckle. Hmm, I guess Taylor Widener didn't make the start today, so I might not be on the Diamondbacks anymore. I'll have to check that a little bit later, but usually no action if the starting the stated starting pitchers don't start, obviously. Daniel Lynch is actually numbered right there. Kind of hard to see against the atomic parallel there, but that'll go to the Royals. That sounds like it's gone. No, warning track. It's double. Tatis Jr. Playing some good baseball. He's pretty good. A lot of cheers there in Arizona for the Padres. Interesting. Jaron Duran Duran. Red Sox for Travis. Joe Adele and Eddie Diaz. For Robert and the Rockies. There you go, Robert. Yeah, maybe people, yeah, people just love Tatis Jr. everywhere. I have to admit, I, I do. He, he is fun to watch. He plays with a uh, an unbridled joy and love for the game. There's Jose Abreu, neon green. Casey Martin, refractor. Yeah, yeah, that's a good understatement, Rex. Tatis could be a great player in the future. He's a great player now. Uh, and we hope in the future. That'll be good for all, all the people who have uh, big Tatis Jr. collections. Abreu neon green paper for Charles and the White Sox. And Adele Amador for the Rocks. Another one for Robert. We got some yellow paper right here. Robert Pawson to 75. Jeffrey Goldberg, Jeff G with the A's. Pitches for the 
Joey Bart. Hunter Bishop. All right, two boxes to go. Almost there. Getting there, folks. Getting there. All right, almost there. Got another, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. I've not seen any. I think Jason on the Instagram channel may have pulled a Sabato autograph. I don't think I've seen any yet. I've not seen. We've seen Ed Howard, but not not Cole Franklin. I don't think he's in a cold, frankly. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Shoot, sorry. Super factor there. Hmm. Okay, so the Arizona promo, we talked about this earlier. At, at the Dodgers stadium, the Dodgers have at least 10 strikeouts. With the purchase of a drink, you get a Jumbo Jack. For Arizona, it's if they hit a home run. And there's Mariel Bautista to 499, another one for EA. So in the Diamondbacks ballpark, they hit a home run. The next day, with the purchase of a medium drink, you get a Jumbo Jack. Yeah, this is one of the guys we're looking for. And there's Mick Abel. 187 out of 199. Fuchsia Shimmer for Drew and the Fightin' Phils. Julio Rodriguez, supposed to be a big deal for the M's. That's the 250. Gavin Lux off the DL. So hopefully we'll get back into the swing of things soon. Richard Hoffman with the M's. Dolo.
There's Gabriel Arias. See, play the whistle. Nothing to worry about. Kayshawn Chang, Cleveland Indians. Cleveland, this is for you. Is who's who's Bautista's son? There's Bobby Dalbeck, blue paper. Gabriel Arias is actually the the player that San Diego traded to Cleveland in the Mike Clevenger deal. And my guess, and there's Bobby Dalbeck for Travis and the Red Sox. My guess is that he is also the reason why they were probably comfortable letting uh, comfortable letting uh, Francis Lindor go, who's getting booed in New York, by the way, after a slow start. There's Eugenio Diaz. Oh yeah, Bautista. So I don't think he's the son of a ball player. I don't think he is. Yeah, I don't think so. Yusniel Diaz going to the O's. John Hyanga. But which, which Bautista are you talking about? As the father. If you're thinking uh, Jose Bautista, probably not. Unless he had a kid pretty young. There's Asa Lacey. Nice one for the Royals. Ryan Lind. Royals look like they're they're ahead of schedule. We still got guys like Asa Lacey and Bobby Witt Jr. coming up the ranks. There's Byron Laura, neon green paper to three ninety nine for Texas Jonathan. Jeter Downs, supposed to be one of the big, the big names going to the Boston Red Sox. For the Mookie Betts deal. All right, last box. Last box. Good luck.
Last box. We made it. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action, for breaking with us, for joining the breaks, for keeping me company in the chat. All that, all that good stuff. So thank you very much. We're almost at the end. Let's finish strong. Let me find a, a really low numbered hit for someone who hasn't gotten a hit yet. I would love that. I know, right? You hear that in, in the background, Rex? Imagine playing baseball and you're struck by lightning. And they said the kid played the next day, too. All right, to 125, Francisco Alvarez. Part of the uh, Bowman Scouts Top 100. Going to the Metropolitan. That'll be for James. O'Neill Cruz for the Pirates. Riffer saying should be a color auto in this last box. Yeah, I hope so. There it is. G1 Bay or Bay G1. 208 out of 250. G1 going to the Buckos. Frank with the Pirates. Like they, I feel like the Pirates have a good scout in South Korea. I mean, they've been getting some a lot of Korean players out here. Ooh, a super, super fractor, non-auto super fractor coming up. There's Alex Kirilov, blue paper to 150. It's a good one, too. Woo! Zach Veen, non-auto super fractor, one of one, going to Robert Garuki and the Colorado Rockies. A little bit of extra dust in there. Nice. There you go, the uh, ninth overall pick in the 2020 draft and a super fractor. Robert, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Right, Riffer's like not worth anything. Donation pile. All right, Twins, Shane. Yeah, that's a very nice hit. There's Cole Franklin. Rex was just talking about him. Charles with the Cubbies. He's got the North Siders and the South Siders. Bought the North Siders straight up. Won the South Siders in a uh, in that filler pack. And yellow speckle Jared Kelly for the White Sox. Speaking of the South Siders, there you go, Charles. Back to back. And another Gabriel Arias to 499 refractor autograph for Kayshawn Chang, Cleveland Indians. Cleveland, this is for you. Hey, 
And Tristan Houses to 250. Going to the Red Sox, Travis. With Casas. Last couple cards, we got Torkelson, we got Anthony, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the quick recap. And Keisha, you were worried about the Indians. There's nothing to worry about. Two autographs right there. There's one. There's Bay. There's Ace of Lacey. This turned out to be a great break. You got a few. So you had the base Arias and the refractor Arias, Julio Rodriguez. It's pretty nice. It's some Eddie Diaz's, Rojas. A few Bautistas, Nick Maton, a Zach Veen autograph, Speckle Auto was nice. Sixto Sanchez autograph, Ed Howard autograph, some Austin Martin cards, Luis Santana. Another Mariel Bautista, the Dylan Carlson Rookie of the Year auto. And we had the Yoelki Cespedes and the one of one super refractor, Zach Veen. Very nice. That was 2021, the brand new Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition, eight box, pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.